Welcome everyone. Our topic for this video will be on dashboards in Virialize Login Site Cloud. Dashboards can be included in content packs or can be created from scratch by Login Site Cloud users. Dashboards are a great way to visualize the log data in Login Site Cloud and provide a quick way to troubleshoot issues or find outlying data points. Let's take a look at some of the dashboards in the dashboard section now. So in our dashboard section, we have a count of 576 dashboards, and then we are presented by a few dashboards right up front, a few that I've created, as well as a few that other users have created, and ones that come bundled in with content packs, like this audit events for VMware Cloud SDDC. So why don't we start by taking a look at my private dashboard. We can start by seeing that I have this dashboard favorited. There's two widgets in it. It's created on December 7th, 2021. And we can add tags to our dashboards if we want. So my dashboard has no tags right now. I'm going to add a tag called test. Now when I search for this tag, this dashboard will come up. A few other options we have are to clone the dashboard if we want to make some changes without modifying the original dashboard, change the access controls, add it to a list, or delete it if we're done with it. So let's view this dashboard. I've added these two graph widgets to my dashboard. They're very simple widgets. I have count of events grouped over time by application, and I have vCenter server administrator logins grouped by vCenter instance. So this dashboard shows me which applications are the chattiest. Looks like we have a lot from vSAN, VPXA, and NSX. And it looks like over the past 48 hours, we've had 22,000 administrator logins to just this one vCenter alone, 20,000 to this one, and 20,000 to this one. So in a production environment, we can probably assume something's not right. Uh, this is a test environment, so lots of people are probably running their scripts as an administrator. But these dashboards can quickly give you a glance into problems in your environment that you need to go remediate. So if we want to add my dashboard, all we have to do is click on Edit. Now we can add a new graph widget to this dashboard by simply searching for a query. And we have here vCenter server VPXA VPXD errors. I just drag that query right here. I can grow the size a bit. And we can see that the graph populates, so we know there's information in the graph. And we click Save. And now that graph widget is part of my personal dashboard. So when I go to this dashboard, I can see that there are about 3,000 VPXA VPXD errors across all of our vCenter instances. So maybe I have something I have to go troubleshoot and fix. So not only do we have our personal dashboards, we have the dashboards that are created from content packs. And that is most of our dashboards here. So anytime you install a content pack, the dashboards that are included with that content pack will show up here. So let's take a quick look at one of our cloud dashboards. We'll take a look at the S3 overview. So it shows here some basic information. We have about 63,000 events in the past 48 hours for our S3 buckets that we're monitoring in AWS. Most of the events are coming from the US East 2 region, and we can see the activity of events by name and user, as well as source IP address. So this is very important data for, let's say, a security or a cloud ops admin to understand what's going on in their cloud environment. We can also simply search for a dashboard. So if you want to do Azure, It's done a search of all of our dashboards that mention Azure. So we have here from the Azure Activity Logs content pack, all of these different dashboards that we can drill down on. So that's our basic overview of dashboards in Virialize Login Site Cloud. We did not create any new dashboards in this video. We only showed you ones that come included with the content packs. We will have another video on the topic of creating new dashboards, modifying them, and customizing them. So please keep an eye out for that. Thank you so much for watching.